So SI have just brought out a new update regarding FM25, and I'm here to tell you why you shouldn't be panicking. Yeah, it's been a while, but here I am, back again, and this time, something a bit different. Rather than going into an experiment or anything, I'm going to go through some of the development update that came out from SI straight after the World Cup, and go through why you really shouldn't be panicking so much. Uh, speaking of the World Cup, I actually was lucky enough to go on Sunday to the FIFA E World Cup featuring Football Manager World Cup Finals. It's a mouthful, but I'm sure they'll, they'll get something better by next season. However, it was an absolutely incredible experience. Uh, I'm going to pop up a few photos here, but I was there mainly to support Matt of Second Yellow Card as one of my you know closest friends in this space, but it was honestly just a monumental occasion just for Football Manager in general and to see it represented on such a grand scale with clearly a lot of money thrown at it was absolutely incredible got to meet you know all the creators that were there and it was just a surreal experience being able to mix it with all of them and uh, maybe maybe have a drink with them in the after party but that's another story for another day uh, here i'm here to talk about why the fm25 update is nothing to really panic about now I'm sure by this point you've all read through it and if you haven't then just go to follow manager's website it'll be the first thing or frankly just go on any social media it's going to be blasted everywhere uh, but essentially there's a couple of key factors that have come in the first part is obviously talking about you know how good the world cup was and how it's not going to be a one-off thing it's just going to be a long-term thing which is awesome. I have already put myself down on the FIFA.gg website as a potential competitor. If you didn't know that was something you could do, then go check out the website. However, um, the first thing to note from the cycle update is essentially the delay. It's gonna be an extra month. It's more likely to be late November, early December. And to be frank, that's what I expected from the onset. They never said a release date and they never said anything about you know, their usual early November slot. They're swapping to the Unity engine, which is going to take them quite a while. There's a lot of spaghetti code to unpick and then to program it all onto the new engine. It's not a port and play job. So they're having to rebuild a lot of stuff from the ground up. And in some ways, a lot of these announcements I was expecting, which apparently it's come as a blindside to some of the people in the community. But I think the delay is the one thing that people are the least worried about because I think they almost expected it. Um, obviously it has been a challenging process for them and they've said an awful lot of that but obviously a major update has been they're taking out the ability to manage international teams and national teams sorry and I don't actually hate this as an idea because it means they are doing something we've spent years telling SI that we want international management revamped and to be actually playable like you know enjoyable I'd rather them take an extra year to get it right and use the resources to get each year correct than have something in the game that's broken and they just don't fix it because they don't get time. We've had years of them building and building on spaghetti code that's just broken. So why pour in something that's already crap? Yes, I'm sure there are some people that play it, but you know the reason there's a low uptake is because it's rubbish. And taking a year out of it is fine. Now it does beg the question, what happens if you port across a game where you are a national manager? And I'm assuming it will just sack you basically. But um, there's still a few questions for SI to answer, but I don't think it's a big loss for the first year. I think we're gonna need a year just to get used to the game and playing it as it is. The only thing I would take on bridge with would be if they call it a feature in FM26 when it's gonna be something that should have been in 25. And again, I don't envisage SI doing that. I can see them you know, highlighting it, but not as like a key feature, which is to say, as promised, after FM25 not featuring it, International Management will be back, but it won't be a key feature. There'll be something else, I'm sure. Um, they keep saying that it's all due to resourcing, and I can completely believe that with the amount of rebuilding that's going to have to happen i'm just hoping it means that the resources are spent fixing other bugs and other problems which i have faith that they will they're going to try and make the best game possible and i think that it's going to be it's just whether it's going to be quite the game we're all hoping for but say i'm full of hope so here we are 
The next one is an odd one. They didn't need to post this, and I'm with the most other people where they say that they could have removed this and people not noticed, or similarly, they could just have ignored it. By posting it, they've made it an issue, which is just the way of the world nowadays, sadly. But they're going to remove weight as a measurement in FM25. Now, the only thing, problem I have with this is if you have a tall striker, is he Peter Crouch or is he Romelu Lukaku? I've seen that meme flied about everywhere. But if there is some kind of, you know, built, you know, how a player is built, so, you know, slim, athletic versus muscular and built, then that's fine. So long as you've got some kind of identifier, you know, I understand, you know, women's weights do go up and down quite a bit. I'll be honest, my own goes up and down quite a bit, although I am trying to lose weight which you'll find out in a video that's coming up in the next couple of weeks. Um, you'll also find why this announcement is absolutely hilarious for me, given what my next experiment is. <laughs> but I'll let you watch that when it comes out. However, as an overall thing, it's not a problem. No one really cares in reality. So long as there is some kind of, you know, word metric that says, you know, are they thin, are they thicker that's probably all it's going to need and then the final one was just about testing being delayed because the game's being delayed that's fine on the grand scheme of things yes that's two updates now where really they've been focusing on what's been removed rather than what's been added uh, but it's just marketing and politics at the end isn't it tell everyone the bad news first and then when it comes to the hype and the bit where people start getting money out of their bank accounts to pay for the game they want all the good stuff to be flowing so we're getting updates earlier than ever this year and i mean it's to be expected it's such a massive overhaul of the game but ultimately it's going to be fine what's going to matter is basically none of the stuff that they've taken out is what they keep in and they've just got to make sure that what they put in is good and works and works pretty well I'm in no doubt that there will be bugs in this first game. Absolutely no doubt at all. It's a first time switching to a new engine with a new rebuild. It's going to have its issues. But so long as they're not major and not insurmountable and they can be packed quickly, I think the community is willing to be slightly patient to know that with Unity they've got a chance to have a better engine and better game overall. I'm intrigued to see what happens in later updates, especially regarding the match engine and seeing a few more screenshots because they've left very little out there so far which i can understand why people are worried but i don't think now is the time to be hyping it when it's not going to be released till late november come back at the end of this month or the middle of october and then is if there is still no update and still no visuals then i will start hitting the panic button but for now say international management i'm sure there are some people who are devastated but there is no world cup or euros for the men in 2025 but there is a women's euros in 2025 so that's a bit of a blow i mean i love the fact the women's game is coming in and i love the fact that they've actually announced that it's not going to be like a standalone database slash network it's going to be incorporated so you can manage men's and women's teams in like a journeyman say for example which i think is what i'm intending on doing this year However, women's international football is much bigger than the club game at the moment, I think. Certainly in you know, the States, for example. So you're going to want that in pretty sharpish. And whether they do something for Euro 2025, I don't know. But I suspect building up to two World Cup years in 26 and 27 is probably the better play. And you've just got to make sure you get it right because there may be quite a bit of hype for people to play those modes. But that's it for me rambling for today. As I said, there's going to be another video coming out in the sort of near future, which ironically will talk about weight and football manager, but probably on a bit more of a personal level, albeit with a little cheeky uh, Premier League simulation to go with it. So stay tuned for that. There will be a tiny bit more content, but like a lot of other creators, I'm waiting for 25 to come out. And as soon as that beta drops, oh boy, is it going to be busy for the rest of the FM community. Twitch and YouTube are going to go wild. So uh, I think a lot of people are building up their energy for that. But for now, thank you very much for watching. Uh, 
drop a like and subscribe if you can. As I say, there's going to be more stuff. I can't just live off recruitment focus videos the whole time, and I need to get my content up if I want to potentially become one of the next England managers. Jack and Aaron did a pretty decent job, to be fair, but there's always room for more. And, you know, I would love to have another go. Congratulations to Indonesia on their title, by the way. I didn't actually realise quite how big the community was over there. So um, we've got some catching up to do. So I'm hoping that I get to be a little part of that. Um, but an epic experience going to Liverpool and watching that all unfold and spending so much time with so many awesome creators. And I just hope I can get into that circle and just be classed as one of them. More so than I already am, to be fair. But for now, thank you very much for watching and I will see you again soon.